so after lugging seven tons of pellets, I'm exhausted. This isn't going up today. Well, technically it is since it's past midnight. I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. I will see you guys in the morning. Much better. Now, let's start the vlog for today. So, I was at a friend's um, yard sale today, and I found a typewriter, and I was able to talk him down from 40 to 5 bucks. Um, a couple of the keys were sticking, so I know this is probably not the right thing to use, but I used some rubbing... It wasn't closed. Uh, I used some rubbing alcohol and a toothbrush and worked it all into the uh, mechanism and stuff. And now it just, all the keys that worst, ooh, I think I found another one that was stuck. Yep, I did. All better. Um, but yeah, so now I'm just cleaning up some of the dirt and the grime. And I mean, there's a ton. I've gone through tons of paper towels that are just all disgustingly messy. This used to be it, the bristles on this that are brown used to be white. Um, there's so much gunk and stuff in this thing. I'm surprised it was still working. That's just a testament to old engineering, I guess. I mean, these things are drop proof. They, they, they're the, they are the original mechanical keyboard. Like there's no batteries, nothing. I can do anything I want to this thing and it just about, and it'll still work. It's a Royal Model HH. It's from the 1940s and 1950s, somewhere around there. Um, but this thing is just beautiful here. Take a look. I don't know if that's actually in shot, but... Um, no. But, uh, yeah, this thing is just amazing I love this thing uh, and all it needed was a good cleaning um, machines are awesome they're just so fascinating like it's just amazing um, so all I really needed to do was to clean it and it worked and it works perfectly now it's amazing try to do that with a computer made that same amount of time ago. I know there weren't computers, but like modern engineering and modern electronics and stuff like that dies after a couple of years. This thing is over 60 years old and it's still working perfectly fine. So I get a message, just a thought. Why don't any space plane designs use an external fuel tank to reduce the extra weight when they're at altitude, increasing range without increasing anything other than takeoff weight. Randomly. But yeah, so random message about space planes when I'm actually taking my dog out. Um, just randomly, my phone starts button, just buzzes and, hey, why don't they use external fuel tanks on space planes? Um, and that's one reason I love going to the school I go to. It's just, that's a friend from school that messaged me that. And nowhere else would you, like, when I was in high school, I never would have gotten a uh, message like that, you know. Hey, what do you think about this idea about space planes? And it was just, it was just awesome. It was amazing. Um, especially after... That actually happened yesterday, but I was too tired after moving the pellets to uh, edit, so I didn't put it, didn't record it. But um, after that video about what it's like um, to be a nerd after grade school and primary school, um, it just illustrated my point beautifully. Um, and I couldn't have planned that if I tried. It was just, it's amazing. But um, he also sent a quote. The quote is by George Bernard Shaw. Um, and he says, or he said, if we each have an apple and trade apples, we still have an apple each. But if we each have an idea and we trade ideas, then we have two ideas each. 
that's really what's been new in my life the past two days since I didn't vlog yesterday was that awesome conversation about space planes um, and that typewriter that's just totally geeking out over. But um, the conversation about space planes was really interesting. We, got, we went on to say about how, you know, maybe it's because they would provide too much aerodynamic drag but we realized that the, at the altitudes at which space planes really... Um, at the altitudes at which space planes really work, you don't really have enough air to worry about aerodynamic drag. Um, we also, I came up with the idea of maybe if they made the external fuel tanks wings so that when you are using the external fuel tanks at low altitude to provide excess fuel to get up past the Kármán line, which is at, what is it, 100 kilometers or 62 miles up, and that's when you stop being able to produce measurable lift because the air is so thin that it just doesn't work, and you'd have to be going so fast in one direction that... Um, to produce the lift that you'd actually be exceeding at orbital velocity at that altitude. Um, but when they're going to be using the external fuel tanks for excess fuel, that would be low altitude, very low altitude, like normal planes that you're think that most people would think of. Um, why not have it shaped like wings or other lifting surfaces so that when it's on the plane, it's serving two purposes and then it kind of jettisons and like gets blown away from the thing it'd be super spectacular uh, and then they can just parachute down and be reusable but yeah about not posting yesterday um i don't know if you know this but moving seven tons of wood pellets for heating we have a pellet stove that heats our house it's actually very good for the environment because right now we're using recycled wood pellets um, but each bag is 40 pounds and there was seven tons so there's let's see 50 bags a ton per pallet which is a ton at 40 pounds each and seven of those pallets it was like, what, what would that be? 350 bags of pellets. And it was hot, and it was humid, and muggy, and sticky, and disgusting. But we did it, and I think it took us like, if we discount all the time we took for breaks, it took only three and a half hours. So we were, uh, my mom and I, we were doing a pretty good pace um but yeah that's why the vlog didn't go up yesterday it's a fluke it should go up from now on daily but uh yeah winter is coming so i just stopped on my walk uh, my neighbor was out larry um and he got a new puppy, 10 week old little bulldog uh, named Bentley. He was, he's just, he was so adorable. <laughs> 